Shalom. Call Halayla. Yahweh. Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. Bahashem. Rakakadash. All praises be to the Most High. Yahweh. In the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior. Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, and pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad, and double honors and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson entitled, I have hated the congregation of evil doers. And this is a video by CBS This Morning, and it talks about a civil rights activist from Indiana by the name of Vox Booker. And Vox Booker has not embraced this truth, and he has not come to the acknowledgement or realization or accepted that he is a Hebrew Israelite and not black or Negro. He's promoting a Black Lives Matter globalist agenda that has an anti Hamashiach agenda and that embraces LGBT, LGBTQ, whatever it is. So anyway, we're going to let the video play and we're going to go into some scriptures. The title of this lesson is I have hated the congregation of evil doers. Let's continue. Made an attack at an Indiana lake is talking to CBS News along with an eyewitness. It's a story we first brought to you yesterday, and we want to remind our viewers that what you see and hear here is disturbing. Box Booker said a group of white men surrounded him and threatened to get a noose. Much of the confrontation was caught on video, as you can see here. Our national correspondent, Jerika Duncan, is following the investi investigation. Jerika, good morning. We're told the FBI is now involved. What do we know? Good morning, Tony. That's right. According to Booker's attorney, the FBI is investigating whether or not this was a hate crime, but the Bureau would not elaborate. So how did all of this start? Well, Booker says he was headed to the lake with a couple of friends to watch the lunar eclipse on July 4th when a confrontation turned violent. Let him go. Let him go. I was particularly hearing my own dad narrated uh, what was happening. 36-year-old Vox Booker, a local civil rights activist from Bloomington, Indiana, says a group of white men pinned him against a tree, shouted racial slurs, and threatened to lynch him. One of them said to the other one, get a, get a noose, not get a rope, but literally get a noose. It happened near Lake Monroe, just outside of Bloomington on the 4th of July. Much of the assault was captured on cell phone video by witnesses. No one invaded you, stupid okay. liberal Booker says the assault came after some of the men allegedly made statements about white power. He says he decided to start a conversation with them in an effort to keep the peace. But he says within about three minutes, things got out of control. I'm going to, to take this energy and take this moment uh, to make sure that, that there's change that comes from this. Please let him go. Please let him go. Booker's friend, Ian Watkins, who says he tried to help, claims he was attacked too. I tried to pull him off and he punched me in the forehead and knocked me down to the ground a couple times. I felt like I was his only line of defense, so I stepped in to I try to help him as best as I could. Once Booker was let go, he says there were more racist insults. Happy about the hell, Oh, you really want to call me? Do it, you nappy-headed bitch. Investigators confirmed two of the suspects as 38-year-old Jerry Cox and 44-year-old Sean Purdy, Bloomington Mayor John Hamilton. I saw the videos late Sunday night, uh, and I have to say they turned my stomach. You think it was a hate crime? I do. In our country, racism exists. Uh, it, it is real, it's been around for centuries, and it's still here, and we need to address it openly and directly. We reached out to Cox and Purdy for comment. Cox did not respond, but Purdy responded by sending us a message of a former police officer who's black and gave his account about why he thinks Booker's story is skeptical. Meanwhile, the prosecutor's office will ultimately decide if any charges will be filed. Gail? So really, the global elites control 
own and operate the media broadcast networks. So don't be deceived by Satan's devices. Esau Edom does not give a damn about racism and discrimination. America was built on white supremacy. And in 1681, they created the term black. If you were deemed to be black, you cannot vote, testify in court, you cannot purchase or own firearms, and you cannot purchase land. So they created these lines of division and separation because America was built on white supremacy. So don't be deceived into thinking that all of a sudden they care about equality. And the Bible says that Israel was created to be above all nations upon the face of the earth, pursuant to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. So this man is still calling himself black. And the Hebrew Israelites are the sons of Jacob, so-called Negroes, Native Americans and Latinos. We're not black. <coughs> so we're supposed to come from out of Babylon and be ye separate. Let's go to, we're going to read Psalm 17. Let's go there first. <clears throat> the book of Psalms, chapter 17, and verse 8. Keep me as the apple of the eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings from the wicked that oppress me from my deadly enemies who compass me round about. They are enclosed in their own fat. In their mouth they speak proudly. They have now compassed us in our steps. They have set their eyes bowing down to the earth. As a lion that is greedy of his prey, and as it were a young lion lurking in secret places, arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword, from men which are thy hand, O Lord, from men of the world, which have their portion in this life, and whose belly thou fillest with hidden treasure. They are full of children, and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. So Esau Edom has their portion in this life. This is their kingdom. This is their dominion and rulership. And they are the wicked pursuant to Malachi 1 and 4. And they pass down their wealth and riches to their children. Psalm 17 and 15. As for me, I will hold thy face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. So we're going to be like that great, like Yahawashai, and they're going to be raised up as mighty men. So we're going to be like him, and we're going to see him as he is, pursuant to 1 John chapter 3. Let's go from there. <clears throat> we're going to go to the book of Psalms, chapter 137. Psalms, chapter 137. We're going to start reading at the top by the rivers of Babylon. There we sat down, yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. We hanged our hearts upon the willows in the midst thereof. For there they that carried us away captive required of us a song, and they that wasted us required us mirth saying, Sing us one of the songs of, Z of Zion. <coughs> How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. 
if I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. So we're not going to forget the motherland, the holy land, and Jerusalem. We're going to call on our power for deliverance and come back to him and remember the days of old and think upon his name in the lands of our captivities. Father's name is Yahweh. He is, he exists, the most ancient of days. And his son's name is Yahweh Shai. He will deliver, deliver or savior. Let's go here. Psalms 137, verse seven. <clears throat> Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, race it, race it, even to the foundation thereof. So the Most High is going to remember the children of Edom. The children of Edom have great future judgment coming. They have committed mass bloodshed, great robbery and murder throughout the entire planet Earth, creating pandemics chaos and confusion, creating sickness and disease. And they've created every major war on earth. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, race it, race it, even to the foundation thereof. So they came together and said, let's destroy Israel. And let us cut them off from being a nation. And they took down the temple and helped the ancient Babylonians put us in captivity. And now they have us in captivity. Psalms 137 and 8. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dash thy little ones against the stones. So they got a great future judgment coming. <clears throat> Everything we do in this life comes with a price. Let's go to Psalms 26 and 5. Psalms 26 and 5. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to start at verse 2, Psalms 26 and 2. Examine me, O Lord, Yahweh, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart, for thy loving kindness is before mine eyes, and I have walked in thy truth. I have not sat with vain persons, neither will I go with dissemblers. I have hated the congregation of evil doers and will not sit with the wicked. I will wash my hands in innocency. So will I compass thine altar, O Lord. I will do what? I will wash my hands in innocency. So I will compass thine altar, O Lord, Yahweh. And that altar is gathering amongst the elect of Israel. And right now, America is that great altar where we're making ourselves a living sacrifice, pushing out this word, going out to the highways and byways and gathering ourselves together amongst the solemn assembly, the brotherhood, where two or more are gathered together. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai's spirit is right in the midst of the tabernacle of David, the elect. So let's go from there to, we're going to go to Psalms 21. Verse, let's see where I want to start here. Let's go to Psalms 21. And we're going to start reading at verse 9. Psalms 21 and 7. For well, the king trusteth in the Lord, and through the mercy of the Most High, he shall not be moved. 
So the true kings trust in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And he is our rock, our foundation. So as long as our foundation is on this truth, on Yahweh Shai, then we cannot be moved. Then we're building upon a sure foundation. <clears throat> so the true kings are following this truth. Psalms 21 and 8. Thine hand shall find out all thine enemies. Thy right hand, thy who? Thy right hand shall find out all those that hate thee. The right hand of the Father, Yahweh, is Yahweh Shai. Psalms 21 and 9. Thou shalt make them as a fiery oven in the time of thine anger. The Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai shall swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. So you Edomites and the wicked two-third Israelites, along with you heathen and Gentile nations, following the wicked, are going to be consumed with fire. Let's read that again. Psalms 21 and 9. Thou shalt make them as a fiery oven in the time of thine anger. The Lord shall swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. Their fruit shall thou destroy from the earth, and their seed from among the children of men. See, so your offspring, your posterity, your descendants are going to be burned from off the face of the earth. That's why Malachi 4 and 1 says the day cometh, Matter of fact, let's get it so I don't butcher it. Let's go to Malachi <clears throat> 4 and 1. Behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. So their descendants and offspring are going to be wiped out. Entire generations of the wicked are going to be burned from off the face of the earth. Psalms 21 and 10. Their fruit shall thou destroy from the earth and their seed from among the children of men. For they intended evil against thee. They imagined a mischievous device, which they are not able to perform. What mischievous device? A new world order and an international space force to fight against our Lord of Lords, and King of Kings, Yahweh Shai, that they are not able. Let's read it again. Psalms 21 and 11. They intended evil against thee. They imagine a mischievous device, which they are not able to perform. So their new world order is going to be crumbled and broken down and dissolved like salt in hot water. <clears throat> Verse 12. And they're not going to be able to implement this mark of the beast RFID microchip. The Most High is going to slap them down when they're about to fill their belly on their new world order under the caveman. Psalms 21 and 12. Therefore shall thou make them turn their back when thou shalt make ready thine arrows upon thy strings against the face of them. So it's going to rain on Lady Liberty, the daughter of Babylon, and the children of Edom. As in the days of Noah, it's going to rain thermonuclear destructive missiles, ICBMs on these devils. Verse 13, <clears throat> Psalms 21 and 13. Be thou exalted, O Lord, Yahweh, in thine own strength. So will we sing and praise thy power. So we're going to praise the power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. No man is going to save us. All right? We're not going to work, you know, look to this guy to save us. Who is this? 
former presidential candidate, John Fitz, wait a minute, John Fitzgerald Johnson. All right, he's not going to save us that have stood up the not fucking around anymore crew in NFAC, in fact. All right, this man is wicked as hell and is a 33rd degree Mason. So he's not going to save us. But we're going to trust in the power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. That's who we're going to trust in. Not this devil that Esau Edom rose up and is funding. All right? So we're going to read that scripture one more again. I had somebody try to come up on here and correct my English. I don't have to follow the king's language like Esau tell us to do. All right, I'm going to say it the way I want to say it on my channel. Trying to correct me and won't do the work. Do the work or be quiet. Psalms 21 and 13. Be thou exalted, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. In thy own strength, so will we sing and praise your power. Not this devil in front of you here. We're going to praise and exalt Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shai. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. By Hashem Rekakadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Much respect to the brothers doing the work in truth and sincerity. Risking their lives and freedom to do so. And pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that will scatter the broad. We got next. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. And Abad Babal. Shalom.